Hey traders, this is uh, part two, and I want to build on the theory that uh, you know, assuming a big move is coming, based on the action of the ADX, uh, with it being under 10, and the entwined uh, action of the negative and positive DIs, uh, let's look to see if we can find some further clues. You know, we've got a lower high. Uh, that, and there was another lower high here. I mean, and, and this is a lower high of this lower high of this lower high, which is of this lower high. So, for those of you who who are viewing the markets as a, a positive, uh, I mean, there are a lot of you know really simple, simple clues out there that tell you that the market is is in a bearish uh, technical pattern. The other thing is the Dow and oil have been moving in tandem for a while now and so if that's the case and if that's still is still true you know we could look to oil to see if it could give us any clues as to the future direction of the Dow and I wanted to show you this weekly chart here that I had uh, posted a while back here right, it was right around here I believe uh, there were a lot of converging points pointing to a short-term bottom that turned out to be accurate. I had drawn uh, this line here as an area where we may find some resistance around the 103 to the 105 area. And that's really about a 3, three to 5% uh, move higher. Uh, typically, markets find you know some resistance around the 60 level. Uh, I, could see, I could see this being a short-term top. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is as the oil was was moving higher the ADX was moving down so the ADX was not confirming that move up I do believe that to be significant uh, and then the thing that really stood out to me when I was running my scans over the weekend were the amount of crude ETFs in USO that were that the four-day exponential moving average was was near near or above the upper counter channel and that can sometimes signal uh, or rather it most almost always signals some sort of short-term top now it's it's too difficult to say okay is this an intermediate top or is this just like a a pullback to where it could be a time to add uh, I have to kind of look at the nature of the decline but I definitely think that you know this market rallied from 29 to 36 pulled back and then pushed higher uh, all signs to me are pointing to a pullback in crude which would also mean a pullback in the Dow and I'm already bearish on the Dow based on my timing si si uh, my market timing signal that's bearish uh, and there are a lot of other technical things that I pointed out on the Dow that with the lower highs, uh, the ADX, which is setting up for a big move, it's unlikely that we're going it, to, it is unlikely we're going to have a big move to the upside after we already have had a big move to the upside. It's not, it's not out of the question. Uh, I just don't see it happening at this point in time, uh, especially when I would say I would say that the crowd right now has, I would say they're not overly bearish, which is a good thing if you want the markets, if, if you are bearish. Uh, I don't know as if the crowd is overly bullish either, but I think that after two days, I think they're feeling pretty good and uh, a lot of people think that this market's going to go higher. That, to me, after talking with people on the blog and on uh, uh, Twitter and whatnot, it seems like a lot of people think the markets are going to go higher. So. Uh, that's a good sign if you're bearish. So, uh, you know, hope hopefully everybody is dealing with the uh, the volatility. I know a lot of traders are frustrated, uh, but you know, just shorten your time frame and uh, trade less and take your profits when you have them. That's one of the most frustrating things is when you you have nice gains and then you see them disappear like on Thursday and Friday. So, uh, take care, guys.